Hey everyone, it's Dr. Hazel from The Food Medic and I am back with my third recipe with Insta Brands and today we are making my peanut butter, sweet potato and chickpea curry. For this recipe I'm using the Instant Pot Pro Crisp and I'm going to use the pressure cooker lid which means we can make this recipe in 10 minutes. First of all we're going to get some onion, two cloves of garlic, some fresh ginger, chickpeas, sweet potato, I've used three chopped bell pepper, red curry paste, peanut butter, our key ingredient here, some coconut milk, 200 ml of stock, I'm using veggie, and then coconut oil as my oil, but you can use olive oil or whatever cooking oil you want to go with. And that's all you need. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is select your saute function. You don't need to worry about the time, and I'm happy with that temperature, so just click start. That's one of the beauties of the Instant Pot is that you can do everything in one pot. So I'm going to grab my oil and put a tablespoon straight into the pot. So the Instant Pot is now preheated. My oil is melted and I'm going to start by adding my onion, which we'll give it a stir. Next I'm going to grab my garlic. So two cloves of garlic and add that in there and some fresh ginger. So next I'm going to add in my curry paste and my peanut butter and they will make a lovely delicious creamy paste together. So I'm going to go for two tablespoons of each and if you've watched my other videos you'll know that I'm quite heavy handed when it comes to peanut butter servings. It gives that a good stir so it really coats your onion, your garlic and your ginger and you get this really gorgeous fragrant smell coming from the pot. We're going to add in our chickpeas and our red pepper, fingers in there, and finally our sweet potato. You could use normal potato for this as well. It just make sure to give it a good stir so that you're coating all of your vegetables. I'm just going to add in my stock, so I've got 200 ml of stock, pour that in. And before we pressure cook, you just want to give it a good stir and make sure to deglaze the base so that you don't have any bits stuck at the bottom. I'm going to cancel the saute setting, now we're going to select our pressure cook for 10 minutes, it's already set at 10, at high, and start. So I can leave this now, the Instant Pot will do all of the work and I can go do other stuff, tidy up the kitchen and then come back and my curry will be finished. So the cooking program is now finished. I'm going to quick release the pressure by flicking this again. So now that the pin has fully dropped, I can safely take off the lid and see what we've got. So that took 10 minutes and it's fully done so all we need to do now is serve it. So that right there is my sweet potato, peanut butter and chickpea curry ready in 10 minutes in Instapot Pro Crisp. Let me know what you think in the comments if you make it and I'll see you next week for my final recipe.